Hello everybody, so if you are part and watch booktube like myself, you'll see so many people rave about certain books obviously, but also particular authors. And you hear so many great things about these authors, and you want to read the books, but for some reason you just haven't gotten around to doing it just yet. Therefore today I'll be telling you my top 6 authors that I want to read. Of course there are many other authors that I want to read books by, but these are just my top 6 and in no particular order as well. So first of all, Maureen Johnson. I first heard of Maureen Johnson from the Nerdfighter community as she is friends with John and Hank, and she's made quite a few videos for their channel as well. But her books are both popular and I know that she's written across quite a few genres as well. Like a Shades of London series is kind of like a fantasy paranormal but she also has a lot of contemporary YA novels as well. Like her own Little Blue Envelopes which is part of duology and Let It Snow which is a collaboration between John Green and Lauren Miracle. I'm particularly interested in reading the Bermudas Triangle as well and I just thought that she has a new trilogy coming out next year. Next is David Leverthon. This is another author who isn't short of books to read from and he's like the king of collaboration books. I own two books of his which were written in collaboration with others. I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson with John Green and Dash and Lily's Book of Dares with Rachel Cohn. Everyone speaks so highly of his work as well and I feel like I need to see for myself what everyone loves about him. Sadie Swift is an author that I heard about through Booktube. Her work I feel is more for an adult audience. Well most of her novels are contemporary but they just don't really seem like young adults. But yeah I got a book quite deep a couple of years ago because it was on offer in Waterstones. It was only about £2. I'm also really interested to read the book NW. Patrick Ness again heard nothing the good things about his books. My parents own his Chaos Walking trilogy, but I don't actually own any of his books myself, which I should really get onto. In particular, A Monster Calls and More Than This are books I've heard the most about and how amazing they are. But I really like the concept of his book, The Rest of Us Just Live Here as well. I know that A Monster Calls has been made into a movie as well, so I should probably get onto reading that in particular. A.S. King is an author that I've mainly heard about through Ariel Bissett, another booktuber. She raves it so much about this author, they are literally one of her favourites. I should just have a lot of work that does sound very interesting to me. Everybody sees the ants and asks the passengers. And finally, Neil Gaiman. I won't lie, I'm kind of ashamed to say that I've never read a Neil Gaiman book. He has such a wide range of work that can be struggled to know where to start. I did read an ebook a couple of years ago called Start Here, Read Your Way Into 25 Amazing Authors. I had a chapter about Neil Gaiman and which books of his to read if you're starting to read him for the first time. So maybe I should just go back and look at that chapter and go off of that then. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments of any authors that you want to read books by. Or if you have any recommendations for the authors that I just mentioned. Happy reader, I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!